between one and two. The second one is between two and three. Therefore, it's right below the carbuncle. Right. And slightly parasternal on the right side. Okay. So that's where you're going to have your listening to your skull. And then immediately just go across to the opposite side. That will be your pulmonary. Uh, pulmonary. Uh, pulmonary. Pulmonic. Okay. All right. So that's right across, easy enough. And then if you palpate your rib area, moving down. So from a one empty space to the next empty space, you go down, straight line, still, again, parasternal. That will be your X point. X point. Okay, so that's sort of, think of it as like the center of the heart where you will get the overall heart sound of the entire region. Okay. So that's the only point that's not tied to a particular valve. Okay. And then what's the next? Transvascular. And where do we go from there? Force intercostal on the okay. left part. Of the so spine. in some way you continue to work along that same line. Now going further down. So we're gonna I'm gonna move this up. Okay. So from the second right here, moving to the next one, same thing, you isolate, look for that soft spot, intercostal, yes? Yeah. Okay. So that will be your tricuspid. And then you got one more to go. Where do we go next? Mitral. Mitral, and where do we go for mitral? All right, so you're going down one more notch. All right, next. Your fifth space, but this time you're going to move across. You want to be about mid clavicle, which is right here, and drag a straight line, and that will lead you to right about here. Yes? So that's where you're going to have your scope going for your mitral, and which is correspond to the apex of the heart, being that's the pointy part. As you know, the heart kind of Slightly tilting toward the left, slightly anterior, so we're coming right on here. That will be your mitral, or also called the apex. Okay? Yes? Yes, sir? Can you just uh, clarify the hand positioning between your breasts? Okay, so a couple of things, okay? Of course, if it's for listening to uh, a female patient, same way as we always say, the way we practice, we got us of gender. We do not want to expose any more than you have to. But if the person, again, like all of us here, if you have your halter top, you have your t-shirt on, if you're able to get around the area, you should be able to. And in terms of your hand placement, if you were to listen, okay, one of your options is if you have your scope right here, Naturally, the back of your hand should allow you to go under this way, okay? Obviously, another option that's easy enough is if you ask the patient, if you give me your hand, and what I want you to do is to hold it off, lift it up for a minute, <laughs> and you can listen. Again, we're doing it right on skin, okay? So certainly, the person can help you move the tissue out of the way. It depends on the individual. Obviously, some of them, if you have a lot of tissue fold, it takes, you know, it's easy. So you have basically four points. So whatever you're listening on this side, anterior and posterior, this is essentially the area. But think about the, the side of the lung, right? It comes around like so, okay? So you pick out sort of the multiple area, sort of a little bit of a zigzag. Okay, coming around so that you can cover the multiple points up to about here because the rest of it then the front will pick up and then the rest of it the posterior is going to pick up okay so as long as you're on those location you're pretty much going to cover most of the area okay just because let's say just because you're on one area of course when 
you know, the, the lung expand and contract and air goes in and out, you're going to hear that in rough general area. It's not like one single point. So you will cover, you know, uh, pretty much the entire lung field by going through those points. Thanks. Okay.